So as this young fighter makes the walk, you gotta think he's thinking strategically about how to get this fight to the ground to set up his guard passing abilities. Great technique, plus athlete as well, and really a guy who cuts the guard with the best of them to set up a dominant position on the ground. I think a lot of opponents are sort of freaked out by just how quickly this guy transitions between positions on the ground. No doubt his opponent has prepared. Sometimes you just can't simulate an athlete like this in training. This guy is an arm bar and a leg lock specialist. In every fight that you see him in the octagon, he looks to secure a limb and finish with a submission. All right, so as this young fighter makes the walk here tonight, you know his inner monologue is, how do I get this opponent down? Because once I get him to the mat, I know I can keep him there. Joe, this guy has a top game as scary as anybody in the game. And when you can control a fighter like that in a fight, it's a great source of confidence. He'll use the body weight to keep you down and prevent any sort of hip escapes because his hips are so strong. Physical freak who will sap your willpower and your gas tank with the best of them. This guy is an outstanding striker. What he wants to do is use his defense to keep the fight standing, use the takedown defense and a good solid sprawl, and if he does go to the ground, make sure he gets back up and punishes his opponent. Now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, some differences in height and reach. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 190 pounds. Fighting out of Osaka, Japan, Big Danny. And now he's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 261 pounds. Fighting out of Manchester, England, Robinson. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, third man in the octagon for this one. You ready? Let's go, come on! That one hurt. He's timing that jab brilliantly. Watch the shot here, Joe. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Tags him. Hit nice him hard lands. with that hook. He's got this go-go Plata locked up tight. Lean forward, pulling on the head. He got it, he got it. Nicely done. Great job in establishing that submission. Yeah, so how about that, Joe? We can barely tell people what color the trunks are on these fighters, and we get the submission win. So not a lot of wasted time. He got the takedown early, and the submission came soon thereafter. Great effort, great technique here tonight. And here's the end of the fight. And here it is one more time in a different angle. Absolutely textbook, Gogo Plata, shin underneath the neck, locked in tight for the tap. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So a seminal moment for him here tonight, Joe Rogan, as he gets the win by way of submission. Certainly one of the bigger wins of his career and as big a statement as he could have made here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 23 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. Big Daniel. Well, what a submission win. be a problem for a lot of fighters in this division. 
Tonight, though, is all about the celebration after getting the finish that he so sought. Coming in here tonight, you see how happy his coaches are, his training partners. This is going to be a fun night for this team and one that they have richly deserved.